Okay, when was the first time you, you went to this symphony? Oh. Oh, my, into this hall? Yeah. Oh my gosh, probably right after the flood. When oh. they opened up after the flood, yeah. Well. Because I would know I went, I had tickets, we went over to Belmont and it was flooded out. So it was right after they opened. Right after they opened, huh? It was 2006. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. Uh, also, uh, uh. Well, I used to bring my kids when they were at TPAC. Okay, I, I was gonna say I was there um, uh, on my band trip. Uh, well, actually, when I was in fifth grade. Oh. It, it was in 2013. Vine was the conductor. Oh, okay. And uh, Vine Paramashran, he's in New York now. Oh, is that where he went? Yeah. Oh, uh, lucky. What happened to the guy? There was a really well. There was Karen, right? And I really liked her. I mean, she was. I there. remember her. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then the really cool guy with the long black hair and stuff. I can't remember his name. His name is Giancarlo. Do you mean the 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 no. full time conductor? No, I'm talking about the associate conductor. Like he had long black hair. He was really cool. He was a really cool guy. He was like Asian. Do you remember him? He was really good. If you're unless you're talking about Vina, he didn't have no, long. No, it's not Vina. No, it's before Vina. Was it between Karen and Vina or no? No, because there was Kelly. Kelly, that's her name. I remember yeah, Kelly. I remember Kelly. Yes, I do. Kelsey. And then that that man with the. Other, she does that other symphony. Now. Yeah, and that man that uh, looked like John Williams, only with more hair. Yeah, I remember him too. He did the Pops. Yeah, the Pop series. That's right. No, but they had an associate before that who had long black. He was Asian. He had long black hair. I'll right? have to remember that a second. Okay. Uh, okay. I remember him. So. Uh, I liked him a lot. He, he wasn't here long. He wasn't. Well, okay. Really good. That's why. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, uh, Enrico's uh, assistant conductor now, and uh, I think he's doing a pretty good job. He's as yeah. funny as Vinay. Yeah, yeah. He's and, and now we're uh, we saw the composers of Hope and Violins of Hope. Uh, and I thought the Violins of Hope was very good. It was very good. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. It was fantastic. That new piece was fantastic. It was. Uh, Schindler's List was fantastic. Schindler's List, yeah. yeah. But also, uh, I remember, uh, uh, I remember, uh, the, the live recording, it, it, it had one of my favorite pieces, Adagio for Strings by Samuel Barber. In fact, there was a DJ back in 2000, uh, he's, he's still a DJ now, his name is Tiesto, and in 2005, he, uh, DJed up, uh, Adagio for Strings by Samuel Barber to doing he, kind of his... Making it a dance melody. He took the simple notes. Oh, really? Yeah. Ba da 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 da. I want to tell you, putting that together was amazing. What John Carlo did putting that together, yeah. it was amazing. It was. He did an awesome job. And now we're seeing a show, The Voices of Hope. Yes. I can't wait to see it. Well, let's see it. Okay.